got quite a lot of time on my hands. I've also got quite a lot of beetroot, so uh, I thought I'd, thought I'd have a go at making some beetroot wine. It's not one I've ever done before. Uh, by all accounts, it's pretty good. And I'm not surprised because beetroot is a very sweet vegetable. Uh, if you roast it or, or however you cook it, it always tastes good and sweet. So I'm really not surprised it makes a decent wine. We'll see how it is in a few weeks' time. Um, I tried a different method this time. It is a pain having to grate down two kilos of, of a hard vegetable, which is how I usually do it. I just, I just grate it down and put it in the water with the sugar. Uh, this time round, I thought I'd try something different. Um, I chopped up the beetroot, put it, in a, put it in a pan, boiled it all down a bit to soften it. Uh, and it's currently sitting in there at, it's about 30 degrees at the moment. I've just got to let that cool down to about 20 degrees before I add the yeast. Uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity as well, just to see how. The old Fairbairn Sykes holds up in the kitchen. I know it's not a slicey knife, it's a stabby knife, but the answer to that question is yes you can chop vegetables with a Fairbairn Sykes commando knife. Uh, it's not the greatest, you know, if you want to do nice fine little slices on your cucumbers you'll probably end up with a bit of a mess, but it does the trick. So there you go, that's two things I've learned today. You can make wine out of beetroot, and you can use a fair band of sykes in the kitchen. God, I'm getting bored. <laughs> there you go.